It's time to go over my top 10 wide receiver rankings for week 13. We're getting right into this video. Starting here at number 10, going over George Pickens. Now, this is one of the guys that I love watching play football. I mean, he is exciting, right? He's got so passionate. When he doesn't get the football, he's going to let somebody know as well. But he can make some spectacular catches. And I think Russell Wilson's starting to trust George Pickens quite a bit. I mean, he's put up some decent numbers with Russell Wilson. I think this week that trend sort of continues. And you might even see well over 100 yards receiving for George Pickens this week. I really like him. This week, they are taking on a Bengals defense ranked 20th against opposing wide receivers. Looking to always make that big highlight play and especially against a divisional opponent like the Bengals I think there's gonna be a lot of opportunities for for scoring right to happen with George Pickens he likes taking care of, of business at this point and I think I've had to put him in here at number 10 for me because I think he does take care of business against the Cincinnati Bengals make sure you get the George Pickens into your lineup he should definitely be in all 100% of lineups this week whether you're playing a PPR league or not I think Pickens gets the job done against the Bengals Come here at number nine. We're going over Mike Evans, right? This is a wide receiver that come back from injury and he linked right back up with Baker Mayfield. There's no Chris Godwin getting into his way right now. So Mike Evans is getting the bulk of, of the targets right now. He's getting the opportunities to show out of what he can do. And now they're going to get the divisional matchup here that he should absolutely feast in. I love him in this matchup. They are taking on against the Panthers defense that ranks ninth against opposing wide receivers. Should be fantasy point explosion game for Mike Evans. I see him going deep quite often. I think a lot of maybe JC Horn might be a matchup on him a little bit, but I think overall you're gonna see a lot of fantasy points from Mike Evans and Baker Mayfield this week. Love it against the Panthers. Everybody beats up on them anyway. Now it's just it just so happens to be the Buccaneers turn to beat up on the Panthers. I think it's gonna be a, a lot of fantasy points to be had. I let myself some Mike Evans this week. Let's move right along here at number eight. We're going uh, CD Lamb. CD Lamb is back into our top 10. Now, even though they don't have a, a solid quarterback like Dak Prescott in there, Cooper Rush is kind of getting the job done. Overall, Cooper Rush is just complete cock -a doo, doo but at least he's targeting CeeDee Lamb, giving him some catchable balls to where CeeDee Lamb can have some respectable games. Obviously, he's not a top five wide receiver right now without a deck Prescott in there, but he's still getting enough to, to be fancy relevant for you, right? To get you enough points where you can actually start him. I think it'll be really good. If you can go out there, well, trade deadlines probably pass in most people's life. I'll say, go, go get a trade for CeeDee Lamb. But I think that uh, trade deadline is probably passed for most people. So, But CeeDee Lamb, overall, if you have on your team, get the guy into your lineup. This week, they do take on a Giants defense that ranks 13th against opposing wide receivers. And he needs to step up, right, in this divisional matchup, right? They're going against a Giants team that's, I mean, let's just go. Uh, they got Mr. Money over there at the quarterback position. They're doing nothing. Got rid of Daniel Jones, was the best quarterback on their roster because they didn't want to pay a roster bonus to this guy. Now they're hurting, right? Malik Neighbors is pissed off. Everybody's just really upset. Because they can't do anything, right? Defense is shot. Offense is shot. The Cowboys, defense is shot. Offense is shot. Who's going to suck worse? Who's going to suck less? That's what this whole match was going to be on. And you still got players like CeeDee Lamb on the field. I think that it just favors the Cowboys just a little bit more. And so I think that he gets in there and he puts up a ton of fantasy football points for you just based on his receptions. Now he needs more yards after the catch because I don't think Cooper Rush is going to throw him open whatsoever. But as long as they get the ball in his hand, I think they were trying to even give like jet sweeps to CeeDee Lamb last week, just trying to get the ball into his hands to make some plays. This week, I think he'll be fine in that divisional matchup. So put CeeDee Lamb into your lineup. Don't be worried about it. Get him in there. He should have a nice floor for you. Move right along here. At number seven, we're going Amon Ross St. Brown, right? This is our PPR guy that has the, he gets a lot of reception. He's really consistent in those numbers with Jared Goff, right? This week, they are taking on a Bears defense that ranks six against opposing wide receivers. I think it's going to be a great opportunity for PPR, right? For for this week, right? That's, it's got to be there, right? The Bears defense, even though it says they rank sixth, they're not as good lately as they were at the beginning of the season. So I think the Lions are coming in. They're really, really hot. They're one of the top teams in the NFC. And I think they're going to prove that again against these Bears team that they were starting to look good. Now they're looking more like cock at this point. What is Caleb Williams, right? He's thrown over 300 yards. Is it going to be a competitive game back and forth? Or are they just going to be a blowout? Who knows? But I think Amon Ross St. Brown has a big game against the Bears defense that I think they can take advantage of some opportunistic defense uh, as of late. So... Go ahead and get yourself some Amon Ross St. Brown into your lineup. Move right along here at number six. We're going Cooper Cup. This is a wide receiver. Again, he's involved, right? Matthew Stafford likes to throw to one of two people. Puka Nakua and Cooper Cup. It is what it is. But now they take it on the Saints defense that ranks 27th against opposing wide receivers. Going against a struggling secondary right now. The Saints, they're not able to keep up right now, right? They they shipped off Marshawn Lattimore to the Commanders. He's hurt most of the time anyway. A lot of other deep, Paulson and Debo got injured. He's out for the season. Tyron Matthews trying to piece everything together. There's just a lot of things going on in the secondary. And I don't know who they are going to go out there to guard these two wide receivers. 
Matthew Stafford should have his way with this defense and just throw the football all over the field. Uh, Puka Nakua and Cooper Cup are going to do absolutely phenomenal against the Saints defense. Get him into your lineup. But that's going to move us right over here to number five. We've got Puka Nakua, the other wide receiver on this roster, right? They are taking on that Saints defense, right? I mean, let's, let's look at it in, right? Saints defense, right? They rank 27th against opposing wide receivers. Put up more consistent numbers than Cup. That's the whole reason why I have him above Cup right now. Just because you can kind of depend on Puka Nakua a little bit more than, Puka, uh, than the Cooper Cup as of right now. But again, both these wide receivers, I really like this week. Against the Saints defense, that isn't going to be doing very well. Will Alante Taylor stop having you know, holding penalties? Who knows? This defense, right, should be very, very good. Well, not really. Not anymore, right? On paper, they should look really good, but they're just not producing right now. Now, I know they're on a little bit of a win streak of the yada yada, but coming off of a bye week could be a lot better. But I just think this offense of the Rams is too prolific in the passing game to be able to guard these guys. So it's going to be a big, tall task for the Saints defense to do. I had to put both Cooper Cup and um, uh, Puka Nakua at number five and number six for me for this week. I like them both here in week 13. We ride along here at number four. We're going Jamar Chase, right? This is one of those fun electric type of wide receivers that we like to play, right? They're going into a divisional matchup here where they're going to need Jamar Chase to be really good, right? And they're going against a really tough defense, right? They're going against the Steelers defense, right? They ranked fifth in a, against opposing wide receivers, but he can explode on any given week. Right, and with a divisional matchup, like I said, it's going to be a lot of back and forth. They're going to need Jamar Chase to kind of step up. They need Joe Burrow to step up against a tough Steelers defense. So there's going to be some opportunistic ways of getting open. He just needs to find those, and when he finds those, we need Joe Burrow to be able to find him. So I think it's going to happen. Easily had to put him steer at number four for me. Jamar Chase, set it, forget it player, no matter what defense he plays against, even if it's a tough defense opponent like the Steelers. So we're moving right along here at number three. We're going to AJ Brown. This is another guy that I think is going to have a phenomenal week this week, going in a very, very tough matchup where there's going to be a lot of offensive firepower going on both ways. I think uh, AJ Brown is, is almost destined, and I would say almost a Bayou Bingo lock to have a monster game this week. They're taking on a Ravens defense that ranks 32nd against opposing wide receivers. You know, he should have his way against this secondary. I, I just don't see anybody in this Ravens defense that's going to be able to keep up with a big physical wide receiver like AJ Brown. He's going to have his way, and I think Jalen Hurts is talented enough to definitely get him the football a lot. So look for him to have a just a beautiful, beautiful game. If you have A.J. Brown, I'm thinking you're very, very excited this week as he takes on this Ravens defense that hasn't stopped or slowed anyone down as of yet. They're just ranked cock a -doo -doo right now in the NFL. Love to see it. Coming here at number two, we're going Nico Collins, right? He's back in. He's coming back from injury, and he is playing phenomenal right now. He's put up a ton of points for you in fantasy football. So C.J. Stroud, he's he's almost in stride right now. He has a very good correlation, good good chemistry with uh, with, with uh, Nico Collins right now, and he's put up a lot of the numbers for you. You saw what he was do, able to do last. He would have done it two weeks ago, but that touchdown was called back. So, I mean, you're looking, I think he's going to have another touchdown this week. It's just looking really good as of late. But they are taking on a Jaguars defense ranked 30th against opposing wide receivers. He should absolutely shred this defense. Literally, there's nobody on this defense that could even come close to shutting down or slowing down Nico Collins. I think CJ Stroud and, 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 uh, and Nico Collins have monster games this week. Love them. Get him into your lineup. He's matchup proof at this point. Nico Collins, the number one wide receiver for the Houston Texans. Doesn't matter if Stephon Diggs is there or not. Nico Collins is the man. That brings us over here to number one. Who other than Justin Jefferson, who's having a phenomenal, phenomenal year. I think he's doing some really good things with Sam Darnold over there. Had to still keep him here at the number one spot for me. So this week they are taking on a Cardinals defense that ranks 16th against opposing wide receivers. He's still an alpha dog on the week each and every week. doesn't matter what kind of defense he plays, whether it's a top five defense or a bottom five defense. Justin Jefferson could be the number one wide receiver on any given week. He is just that good. He There's not a lot of cornerbacks that can really keep up with him. The way he runs his routes, absolutely phenomenal. Get Justin Jefferson in your field or on your, on your team. Easily number one for me here in week 13. Guys, that, that does it for our top 10 wide receivers. Make sure you guys leave a comment down below. All right, is there anybody in the top 10 that I didn't put in there? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you guys hit the like button. Hit a subscribe button, right? It really helps out the channel quite a bit when you guys are smashing that subscribe button for me. So, guys, we're pumping out so many videos at this point. Each and every week, we want to make sure we're setting the best lineups as we approach the fantasy football playoffs. We want to make sure your team is honed in, ready to go, whether it's with waivers, whether it's with starting lineups, start sits, rankings, whatever you need. That's what we're here to do. Guys, I can't wait to see you guys on the next video. We'll see you guys next time.